Hey foodies, today we're baking easy hazelnut chocolate tarts. And if it's Friday or a weekend in your time zone, make yourself comfortable and enjoy this video. This is an easy recipe, but like any other baking project, it has steps which I will be happy to walk you through. First thing to do is toasting the hazelnuts. Leave it on the lowest for 15-20 minutes or until the hazelnut skins start cracking. The dough. I'm making simple sable dough, which basically is a mixture of butter, sugar, egg, flour, and a pinch of salt. It has rich buttery flavor and is fun to work with. One of those things every person who likes baking appreciates a lot. Okay, let's mix room temperature butter with sugar, add a pinch of salt, then add the egg, and mix vigorously to combine all the ingredients well. Take the flour through the sieve to get rid of any lumps and mix until the dough just starts coming together. At this step, it should be crumbly like so. Transfer the dough onto a flat working surface and work it up until it forms a smooth ball and doesn't stick to the surface. Look how sandy this dough is. This is the reason behind calling this type of dough sable, which literally means sand in French. It is really satisfying to work with this dough. It's truly versatile and can easily make cookies or other bite-sized pastries. Divide the dough into three logs, each about an inch in diameter. If you're using two inch mini cupcake mold like mine is, and adjust the thickness of the log if your mold size is different. Wrap each dough log with plastic film and chill in the fridge for at least 30 minutes. Why at least 30 minutes? Well, this dough shouldn't be firm as a stone, but slightly chilled, it will be much easier to shape it into the mold. Ideally, you want to keep that in the fridge um, for about an hour, given that you divided it into three parts. While the dough rests in the fridge, grease the mold and prep the hazelnuts to make the filling. This size is perfect for the hazelnut chocolate tarts because they are so rich and flavorful Besides, I can easily include them in our playlist with Baked Delights in 2-3 Bites. By the way, check it out, I left the links in the description below. And somewhere here, it has so many good desserts that are safe for any diet. Okay, let's check the hazelnuts. Nuts are toasted and we can remove the skins. The easiest and fastest way to do it is to use a clean tea towel. Spread it on the counter or table. Place the nuts so that they occupy half of the towel, cover with the other half, and rub with your hands, making sure hazelnuts stay in the towel. And voila, the mold skins are gone. Don't expect that all the skins will be removed. Some of the hazelnuts will hold them tight even after toasting. But since the most are free from bitter skin now, it is fine. Spread the naked hazelnuts on the plate and let them cool completely. And while they cool down, we can shape the dough into tarts. Take out one log of the dough from the fridge and cut it into one and a half centimeter discs. Shape a flat round from each disc and line the mold with the dough. I don't feel ambitious today, so I don't worry how perfectly my dough lines the mold. All I want is having this little goodies taste and smell heaven and be ready for a cup of tea. Set the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit or 190 degrees Celsius and make the hazelnut filling. Crush the hazelnuts in the food processor, which will save you a ton of time. Whiz just a few times until hazelnuts are crushed coarsely, like so. Then in a medium bowl, whisk the softened butter with brown sugar, add vanilla extract and the eggs, whisk again, then add a pinch of salt, and the crushed hazelnuts.
whisk to combine and start filling the tarts. Each tart will take a tablespoon of the filling in my case, I mean for this size tart. Mix the filling in between to have an even distribution of nuts and once every tart is filled, send to the oven for 15 minutes. Tarts will slightly pop up from their nests when you remove them from the oven, but don't worry, they will take their even shape back once cold. Let them sit in the molds a while until just warm, about 10 minutes, and then remove. They will easily come out. And now let's decorate the hazelnut tarts with chocolate. For that, I'm going to melt dark chocolate, and the easiest way to do it is this. Place the chocolate into a piping bag, seal the edges with a kitchen clip, place in a bowl and pour boiling water over it. Put something on top to let the bag sit in the water and take the bag out literally two minutes later. The chocolate will completely melt and have runny consistency. Clip the pointy edge of the piping bag and decorate the hazelnut tarts with chocolate in any way you wish. I'm making little swirls here, and since I made a really small opening in the piping bag, the chocolate turns into these fancy ribbons. Here we go! Our little baking project is over now, and we have a great dessert for the tea. All ingredients and measurements I left in the description below, as always, so check them out. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button if you like this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.